Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today we're going to check out Market Plan, which is a pretty cool software that lets you create your marketing strategy in a visual way. So this way you can show it to your clients and actually wow them. And I'm not trying to hype this, but you're actually going to wow your clients when they see your marketing strategy built this way. You can also contribute with your team, your clients, and obviously build it in an easy way. So let's head over to the actual dashboard of Market Plan. And what you're gonna see right now is I'm gonna do an overview of what you can do with Market Plan and show you a marketing funnel right here in Market Plan. So first thing we're gonna do is create a brand new plan. And this one is gonna call Video Plan. So we're gonna just make this one for video purposes because I'm not gonna actually show you one that I am using, one of my plans, because um, that would be pretty dumb. All right, let's jump into Video Plan. And what you're gonna see on your left side over here are your marketing tools. So you got pages, you got campaign apps, you got actions, and you got more tools. We're gonna to talk about these in a bit. First, we're gonna load in a template so you can see how it's actually built. So I'm gonna right click right here, load template, and there's some templates already right here. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna select this one, which would be a really popular one which is the free offer that you're gonna see everywhere. You got your free webinar, free book, free whatever, and then the upsell. So let's load this one right here. And we're gonna click in this canvas. What I do is click on this top left corner and it's gonna load in this canvas. Now you can see how this is actually going to flow. Now you can screenshot this, you can do a PDF and you can show it to your clients or you can even have clients jump into here with certain privileges. So they're not gonna be able to edit it. But that's really cool because they can see it. They're gonna look. Your, they're gonna see your professional in this manner, and it's gonna see like, wow. Not everyone makes their marketing strategy this way. So what we have right here in this marketing strategy is that obviously they got Google Ads, they got an Ad One, Ad Two, they got YouTube video ads, and they got Facebook ads. Now we could view each one of these. So for example, we can load in right here if we have an image ad, a text post ad, or a video ad. So let me show you what this does when I drag it in here and now I'm free to edit this one. So in this case, we can edit right here and add the actual ad URL right here, the projected budget for this ad. So for example, you know what, I'm gonna do uh, $50 for this one ad and I'm gonna do 100 on this one and so on and forth. This is a flat rate, there's a cost per click. Uh, media URL, if you wanna add the image right here so the view's really nice. Uh, the tracking link, we can edit this link and do that and set all that. Now you're gonna see this little thing that says tax. Well, remember I told you we could contribute with team and clients? Well, this is the way we would do it. So for example, if we have some task added right here, so if we add like, hey, add the link, you know what, come on, do it. So I'm gonna do that, oops, right here. Sorry, that's the chat. Whoa, okay, come on. Oh, sorry, could be right here. All right, so add the link, you can assign it to whoever you have in your team. So in this case, I'll assign it to Jorge, which is me. And you can see this little one popped up. Uh, we can move it to do, doing, or done. Whoever's going to do it right. And for example, if I click right here, there's some task also available. So what is this for? So for example, you know what? I Let's just say right now, I'm gonna build the whole funnel. Like I want this, you know what? There's gonna be a YouTube app. I know there's gonna be a Facebook ad. I know there's gonna be this and this and that and blah, blah, blah. So I can create the funnel. But who I really wanted, to, who I want to work it, who I want the person to do it for me is someone else. So you set the task for them. Hey, fill all this stuff in, man. All right. So I know there's going to be, whoops, got out. So I know there's going to be, you know, like there's going to be a video ad right here and there's going to be a text ad and so on and so forth. And I'll assign it to my team. I don't have to do everything. That, that's just in case if you have teams, right? Next thing we have, obviously, is like YouTube ads. Same deal with this one. Um, if you guys wanna switch who you wanna use, for example, here we got YouTube. Uh, we can switch this logo right here, or we can switch right here, so, so it's actually gonna be Instagram now, instead of YouTube. So now you can see it changed the color, but we didn't change the title. So now it's gonna be Instagram, right? Let's just say that, go. There we go. Now we got the logo as Instagram, and it says Instagram, uh, YouTube. Sorry, I gotta remove that. This is just testing, right? Let's move on to flow. Next flow, we got the visitor's prediction. We can edit this, so for example, in this case, this is how it's going to flow. But if we wanted to change from visitors to leads to sales, to leads and sales, we just click on these ones. So for example, if it were a lead, it changed to leads. Now we have leads. But for example, these are just visitors as of now. 
because obviously they just came from that and they're just going to base it over here. So in this case, so for example, I am predicting about 200 visitors. For example, I set my ad for a cost per click and I know this it's gonna get me around that type, of, that amount of visitors. So on this one, it's gonna be 400 and this one, I did a whole lot of amount of money. So 1,000 visitors and 100 on this one, right? And these visitors, I can, in my funnel prediction in my mind, so I'm saying they're gonna go into opt-in A and this one on opt-in B or C. Um, I could change this, I can connect one to the other. Uh, for example, if I wanted to remove these, let's get rid of these, and let's just say, you know what, I am not going to create three opt-ins. These are just examples. Get rid of this one, yeah. All right, so let's just say I am gonna do these ads and it's gonna go to, whoops, sorry. Connect to there, connect to here, all right? Now you can see these lines look a little bit different. Now that's a different type of look. You might like that even better than the straight lines. But if not, we just click on this right here. So this little arrow, whoops, this little arrow right there. Now we got straight lines. So you can do it like a flow, a curve flow, or a straight line flow. Um, there you go. So for example, I just removed it because I know I only have opt A and opt B, right? Um, that's just in case, for example, you can even have one opt in. So it just depends how you want to set it in your mind. You can do it right here to kind of do it in a visual way. So actually your team ha is in the same, um, how would you say, in the same line as you, you would say, sorry for my English, um, opt in email right here. So. Once we go into opt-in right here, they got an opt-in email options. And for example, on this opt-in email, we got more options. So you got the email title for this opt-in. So this one is uh, free product. If they opt-in, something like, something like that. Uh, you got live, make it links. You can add your links right here. You can do edit. We can add the task. Every single section of these has tasks also. Uh, we have the sale right here. Oops opt-in email, some of these percentages. So for example, 50% of these people are gonna jump into over here. You can see they jump into the free offer. We get about 300 right here. So that's what the percentage is giving us. So from all these visitors, 50% accounts for 300 visitors are gonna jump into over here, right? So 50% equals 300 visitors. They're gonna jump into this free offer. I'm gonna view this. From this free offer, we are going to do a upsell. So for example, in this upsell, let's just say um, only 20% are gonna do, so that's 60 people. All right, let's click right here, add a new product. And let's just say that upsell was the, uh, the webinar. All right, and this webinar is gonna cost them 49, all right? There we go, and done, all right? So 60 people bought the webinar prediction, right? And this is what it's going to give us, right? So then we're gonna go into another upsell page, right? So you can, you can actually change the images right here. So for example, if I view right here, I can add an URL, edit URL, and it will view the site that I have. There's no point in doing that. It's just gonna visualize any site that I put there. Um, this is just for purposes of the whole team being on the same track. All right, and Whoever said no, we got the abandoned cell email right here. So remember, you could, if they say yes, well, it's over here, right? They, we made the cell, it's gonna see right here and they're gonna jump to this one. But if not, they got the abandoned cell email and we can click right here. So this right here, we can say like the, another free product and you can set the link and add it, so on and so forth. All right, um, the percentage of these are, I don't know, let's just say 40%. So that's 120 people. So we got the people from over here, plus these going in here, and we got 180 people. I think you're uh, getting the sense of what you could do right here. And you can just visualize it, how you wanna build your funnel until you reach all these. Now, something really cool that when you have everything structured with the numbers, the percentages, and what you're gonna predict, you have the stats over here on the right. So for example, the prediction of this whole end funnel, it's gonna predict this, right? This is what it's gonna cost, and this is the total revenue. Uh, total expenses is because, for example, the, the ads cost you, the page probably costs you, cost you, or something like that. And these are expenses, and this is the revenue that, that it's made. It's actually a negative, right? So you're not making any revenue. So this, you can show the stats to your client once you filled all this out. 
Now I'll show you really quickly over here. Pages, we got landing pages, we got opt-in, we got sales, sales videos, so whatever you intend to use uh, right here, we got the options. Um, for example, if this is, if it's not right there, you can just grab one of these and you can change the title on this. So if I view right here and it's not actually download anymore, we could change it. Where is that? Right here. So let's just say it's not download, it's like main page. All right, something just like that. And now it's main page instead of saying download. These are just examples. Uh, campaign ads, you got the ad sets, you got your social plan, keyword planner. So if you're doing keyword planner, you do there, the blog planner, the email, email sequence, the chat, you got actions, tag, conditions, custom actions, wait. You got more tools, so you got custom medium, notes, sticky, tags, plan portal, and all these give you different options to actually edit and make this really good. Now, for example, remember I told you that we, we created a task over here and I assigned it to Jorge, which is me. You got this little one right here. So there's a task they have to do. And this would be filled with little numbers with tasks that people have to do. And this is really cool because people know that they have to do something there. Now you don't only have this option because maybe you could get a little bit lost. So let's just say, hey, you know what? Um, sometimes those little numbers, I don't know, I can't find them. You can view it in a different way. So you got, for example, the Kanban over here. So if I switch to Kanban, now we have the planner right here in an easy way. So you got a different Kanban type of view. So remember, we have these right here. So these are one day. These are all that, that are from the funnel. We can view them right here, actually the same way. We can uh, assign people. So I assign it to one here, right, really easy. We can view it, all right, we got that view. Let's get away, let's go back to Kanban. And you can see right here, um, let's just say this one is already in the to-do, all right? So it's already doing, man, it's, it's, it's in process, hold on. No, that's actually to do, this is doing. This is doing, and then we can drag it to done. And obviously, once we start uh, building along this way, the percentage of done is, is moving. So for example, you got 0% down, now it keeps moving to 50%, 70% done. So as, when you add tasks, the percentage starts moving around. All right, so that's pretty easy to do. Let's go back to our view over here. And another cool feature that we have is a team chat right here. Um, just inside of Market Plan, you have a chat. So you chat with your clients, your team members that are added right here in an easy way. So you can chat right here. So for example, I don't have added my team right here, but if you, hit, if you add them, you can do it right here. So it's pretty easy to do and pretty easy. All right, so you got the off, you got your plan, and you got the way to make it live right here. So making it live. See how these are grabbing the visitor information once you put all that. And we got the planner, no? We got the export and sharing. So remember I told you we can export these in PDF. So let's just confirm template is ready. All right. See this? Now we have a PDF view of this marketing funnel. When this way, you can show it to your clients. So now let's head on over to how to add your team and show you the agency options to, for whoever has that plan to customize all this so you have your own white label. I'm gonna show you that. So let's go back right here, head on over to Teams, and this is where you would add your members. So it would send an email to them and they can actually use their own password and create their own account and they would add the, the Teams right here. Super easy, super fast. Now, the really cool part about the agency settings. So in agency settings, it gives you the option to customize the look of this. Um, for example, agency name, in my case, my agency is the media. Uh, I can upload my logo. Search for that. All right, here's my logo. Um, logo padding. Here we go, let's fix that a bit. My canvas color in this case, whoops, not gonna change. Wow, cancel. I'm gonna change that. Uh, fab icon, same thing. Logo text, we can do that right there. Login page background, whoops, don't wanna click on those right now. Um, radiant color, so for example, my colors are a bit more like, eh, so like this. I would just use the head co colors to make sure I'm getting the right ones. Uh, let's just do that, all right. Ancient color, so let's go like this. And see how these colors change also inside your market plan. 
Um, and let's just save these. So all right guys, so now that I've really styled it like I like it with my logos and colors, and I've also set up the domain, so now it's my own domain. So like I said, it's gonna be a white label version. So if you show it to your clients, you don't actually have to show market plan. So you got plan.bmedia.com, which is my site. I'm gonna head on over there. You see there, now it's on my site. And I have the ability to create a brand new plan right here. So I got my logo, my colors, my styling. So we got rid of the blue, so now it's more to my branding. I'm gonna tweak a little bit more the, this little pink for mine, but you can see the colors are already changing. So I can create a brand new plan right here. Let's create it. See this? Rating colors that look like mine. I can visit here. Let's go view this right here really quickly because I wanna show you how this white label looks. Still, my domain. See how the colors changed? All these have changed. The pages have changed. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that really cool? These already have colors, but the rest that don't, that have like the marking plaque colors, are going to change to this one. If we head on over to Canva, see this right here buttons, chat, options, even the, the halo right here for the shadow. See that right there? It's all in the white label matter. Well, there you go guys that is market plan i think it's really cool and i think your clients are really going to like it when they see a plan like this so you can't compare someone that's going to send a pdf with just like uh i don't know which is some text and pictures with someone actually sending a plan of what's going to happen it's going to look it's going to let you look way more professional showing what can happen and how you're going to actually going to plan the marketing strategy in market plan well, thank you guys for watching. My name is George and this is SaaS Master. See you guys later.